guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. And uh, it's pretty much fresh off the heels of Vlogmas. I said I was gonna take a little bit of a break, and I am. I'm not gonna post this right away. By far, the biggest question that I got uh, from Vlogmas was my freelancing business and just all the different things that I do here on the interwebs. So I thought I would do a different kind of video this week. And instead of doing just like a daily vlog or a weekly vlog or whatever, I would do a week in my business. So I'm gonna show you sort of a behind the scenes look and show you the things that I don't normally show. It is the week of the holiday. It's the third right now, January 3rd. And yes, I still have my tree up. Oh, you can't see up, but yes, I still have my tree up. Don't judge me. Because of that, it's a Wednesday right now, but it feels like a Monday or a Tuesday or something. And I feel really behind and I have very ambitious goals for 2018. Like very ambitious. I, in my head, they're way more ambitious than I even told you guys on video. So we're gonna make this happen. I spent the better part of last night actually redesigning a journeyeast.com. You guys saw a couple of vlogs ago that I relaunched jamesandparks.com, but this is the one that really matters to be completely honest because this is what hosts all my courses. This is what is gonna host my podcast, what does host my, my former blog. So it's a big deal. It's a lot to move over and I just wanna get it really right. It's my personal website. So it's kind of like the portal to everything that I do. I spent the better part of last night redesigning the homepage. So now I just need to uh, make some tweaks to the content in there, make sure everything's categorized properly. All the 404s are working, if there's any, all that kind of stuff and then launch it. So. I'm so excited. I think you guys are gonna like it. Before I do that though, I am heating up some pizza right now. Uh, this is from Pie Sai Pizza here in Detroit in Midtown. I love that place. They have a different rotating seasonal menu. And the one I, I kind of don't like it though because they had this amazing falafel pizza and they don't have it anymore. So instead, I got the tamale pizza. Actually, I had pork on it, but I just got it without the pork. So I'm gonna heat up a little bit of that and watch some of my, one of my favorite Guilty Pleasure shows, which is The View. And then I will hit you guys back in a little bit to uh, design the website. He has a whole core base of supporters, whether you like it or not, clearly you don't like it. And his approval rating is the exact same today. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm well aware that I look absolutely crazy. It is nine degrees right now and I like can't be bothered. I, yeah, I can't be bothered. Neither of us are feeling very good. It's currently Thursday night and Norris is really sick. I feel like I have a little something going on but I'm trying to be strong for the both of us. So yeah, so sorry about last night. I didn't really do the full update. Basically, I just worked on my website and went to bed. But right now, I just got off a call with a person, a streamer and YouTuber content creator, and we just did a little consult for a project we're gonna work on. I haven't told you guys about this yet. I talked about it to the podcast, but this episode hasn't been published yet, so a little confusing, but I talked about when you should be doing work for people at a discounted rate or for free, and this is one of the scenarios. So I have been wanting to start offering Squarespace design as a service through my company for a long time, and I finally decided that I'm gonna do it and yeah I feel like I'm ready but like not like ready ready I feel like I'm ready in the design aspect portion and the technical skills but I need to get my client workflows down and just get some feedback and also just some testimonials and stuff that I can put on my website to actually get those clients so I decided to open it up to my network and I'm working with two amazing people so yeah, we had a really good intro meeting and now I just ordered some food and I gotta get ready. I'm doing an interview tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. So I gotta get my closet ready because if you can't hear all the banging that's going on, yeah, they started about seven. So it's going to interrupt my interview. So I'm gonna have to go into my closet and record. I think that the sound will actually be pretty good in there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna eat and I also have to prepare her questions. Oh my gosh. So, this is what we're working with. This is going to be my office tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> I know. Uh, yes, I'm going to clean this all out tonight. It's about 7.30 and I probably won't be done till midnight. That's but all her stuff. It's all my, this is his stuff. The empty hangers. Yeah, those are his. This mess is mine. I'm sorry if you see anything inappropriate. I can't even tell because it's all just cluttered together in... Yeah, I don't know. While I am um, cleaning out my closet, look at my eye makeup. I was like walking around like this for like an hour and Norris didn't help me. <laughs> I created a, hold on, I guess I just gotta show you guys.
I'm so sad, you guys. I've had these pants since I was 15. 15, they were my first employee purchase at Dots. And they're not even good enough quality to give away. Like, look at the pilling, and they're all stretched out. <sighs> so I'm just throwing them away. I'm so sad. Oh my gosh, look at my shoes. These are like some of my favorite shoes. What the heck? Here is where I'm going to record tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a tight squeeze, but I'm able to fit my desk chair. I was thinking I was gonna just have to do a stool, but um, I really want the back support, you know? So I have my pillow there. I'm gonna put this blanket because it's gonna be early. It's gonna be really cold. And then this is a, uh, a stool, like a bar stool from Norris's old apartment. And it's just like a good height, so I can actually use it as a desk. So yeah, I still, did I tell you guys about my mascara? I think I did. I still have mascara all over my face. I haven't had time to take it off, and it is what it is. So um, yeah, this is gonna be my little podcast spot for tomorrow. Yeah, I look absolutely crazy. I can't believe I'm talking to you guys, and I wanna have like a heart to heart too, to wrap up the night. So it's like 10.30, it's a little bit later than I expected, and I was getting a little bit frustrated. I wish there was a place for me to put this camera. Yeah, I was getting a little bit frustrated because this closet thing was taking me like forever. I just didn't expect that. I wasn't prepared. I forgot that there's construction all morning and you know, whatever. And I could have asked her to reschedule, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do what is best for everybody and just get it done, you know? So I was getting a little stressed out because I wanted to work on her questions and work on other things much sooner. But, you know, I think like as people who own home-based businesses, I think that we put a lot of ridiculous stress on ourselves because if I were any other business... This is just something that would have had to happen. Like it wouldn't be a, it would be a non-negotiable. Like, hey, we have to get the space ready for the person to come in for the interview or whatever. Um, and I feel like because we are at home, a lot of times they're like, oh my gosh, we can be being so much more efficient. And I think that's true. Like working from home, I feel like I'm 95% more efficient, you know? But there are those things that are just, you just gotta get them done. Like I felt ridiculous because it was a personal thing. Cleaning up my closet was like a personal thing that I needed to do, which I'm glad that I, killed two birds with one stone but I was doing it for my business like I was planning on doing this 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 weekend actually but it just turned out that in order to run my business tomorrow I have to clean up my closet so just wanted to end on that note with that said it is 10 30 so I am actually I barely even ate any of my food from um Shiba Express so I broke like all my nails cleaning this like I'm a mess so I'm going to eat a few french fries and a couple grape leaves maybe and then I'm going to type up her questions and then I'm going to try to go to bed by like midnight so I can wake up by 6 30 get set up our interview is at 7 30 6 45 7 whatever and I'm going to wash the mascara off my face morning guys it is 7 a.m 6 57 to be exact and uh, my interview is at 7 I wanted to vlog so I could start to start to get my wo voice warms up a little bit I'm pretty tired I'm not gonna lie I ended up staying up to like 12 30 just because cleaning out my podcast studio aka my closet took a uh, took a while but it looks really good I'll show you guys when I get in there I showed you guys last night actually um so yeah I am just drinking a cup of coffee finished all the questions last night that's what else I stayed up late doing so I wrote out all the questions I want to ask her I think I wrote too many I didn't want there to be like awkward silence in case we got through all of them but I think we probably won't get through all the questions I wrote so I kind of I'm gonna go through right now and just prioritize which ones I definitely want to ask and then you know all right here we are in my closet I am getting ready to go on got two minutes to spare it's starting to get the point where I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> I always feel that way a little bit in the beginning yeah another one that I love is be authentic that's one that I hear at like every conference yay I'm done it went really well I my voice was a little bit like raspy at a couple places so I might actually have to dub it um in those places because it's super early here it started at 7 30 so I was like <coughs> like muting my microphone but um anyway she sounded great so that's the most important part so I'm really excited um and I didn't even notice the construction so hopefully you can't hear it I'm gonna have to listen back to the episode but 
uh, yeah, I am off to just start my regular work day now and just do all those fun social media things that I do and it's Friday. Lunch is just gonna be some leftovers from yesterday, some french fries, some baba ganoush, and some vegetarian grape leaves. Nothing too fancy and this actually looks disgusting, but it's gonna be tasty and very filling. So I've been using Zencaster to record my podcast interviews. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know of any other tools to use for podcasts. Uh, to be honest, this one does have its glitches. I'm going to edit the podcast now and it is a little bit like there's a couple of issues, but I think it's fine, you know, and it's not going to be perfect. It's my first podcast. But anyway, this tool is actually really cool. So you go in, you just give the person the meeting room link and it's like a customized zencaster.com slash Latasha James because that's my room. And then it has like a customized link. Send your guests that link and then you can just start recording her name will pop up i think i vlogged like one quick second of it and then it gives you these files these mp3s hey what is a million views though yeah how do you feel i don't know it's kind of crazy so it's three degrees and we are off to whole foods it's really cold it is like I don't know, they're calling it the bomb storm something. I don't know, on the East Coast. Here in Michigan, we're not getting that, but it's just really, really cold. So I am, um, it's kind of a mess out here because I was going through my closet, but all this stuff, all this stuff is, um, you know, things that I'm donating these shoes to. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Just cold weather look. I kind of like it though. I have like the thickest socks and I almost broke my foot trying to get them into these boots. They're like chill socks. They're not like real socks, but I'm wearing them as real socks because I'm very cold. You guys, I just spent a good, I would say seven minutes scouring my apartment, picking up blankets, overturning pillows, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, looking for my glasses. I legitimately did not realize my glasses were on my face until I turned this camera on and looked in the viewfinder. That was weird. Anyway, I wanted to do a really quick little book haul um, because one of my goals, I don't think I talked about this on YouTube, but one of my goals is to read at least like one book a month um, in 2018. So I showed this in one of my last vlogs. It's called We Rise. I actually didn't end up starting it over winter break like I wanted to, so I still have not started it yet and I need to, but I just got a huge Amazon order in the mail. So I feel very fortunate in that I get affiliate income, sort of affiliate like gift cards from my Ancestry videos. So I get $10 gift cards like all the time from people who sign up using my link or for 23andMe too, which is really cool. So I had a bunch of them saved up and so I spent like $50 on books. And these were ones that I've just kind of been looking at for a while. I have been wanting to buy Bloom by Este here on YouTube for so long. And I'm just like, it's not, uh, do I need this? Like, it's not really like gonna teach me anything, you know? I don't know. It's just kind of like a fun book to have. And I really like Este. Um, she's always been one of my favorites. So it'll be a nice like casual, chill weekend read. And then I got This Year Will Be Different. I have her book. This is actually the first book that she's written. Her second one is called Smart Creatives. It's called My Creative Side Business. But it's basically just about, uh, it's called The Insightful Guide to Becoming a Freelancer. So obviously I already am a freelancer. So I think that a lot of this information will be kind of redundant, but I think it'll just give me some ideas maybe for Freelance Friday and for my podcast and stuff like that of topics that I wanna cover, things like that. This book I've always seen. I even vlogged in Barnes and Noble one time. Are you okay? Hope you just dropped something. Uh, she Means Business by Carrie Green. I've heard her in a couple of podcast interviews and things like that. She seems smart. So uh, give this a go. The book is really pretty if nothing else. And then the last thing is the Conquer Kit. I've also seen this in Barnes and Noble and never went for it fully. I read a couple of reviews that were kind of like meh about it. It's like a workbook. Let me see. It's like a workbook. So there's different things for you to fill out and uh, things like that. I don't know. I heard that it was a little bit amateur in the reviews, like a little bit, um, yeah, like sophomoric, I guess. 
but I don't know, I'll give it a go. So do you guys wanna see, I was trying to figure out, I don't wanna do like book reviews on YouTube because I feel like I try to create videos that I would wanna watch and I personally, I, I know that booktube is a whole thing, but I'm not that serious of a reader and they just kinda bore me to watch like book reviews. But I'm wondering, um, do you guys want me to update you guys, especially on like the Conquer Kit and things like that? Or would you want me to do like a check-in video, like six months, you know, like a six months check-in, like the six books I read so far this year? Or do you think I should do like reviews on Instagram? I don't know, I'm trying to figure that out. Let me know. But anyway, I edited my podcast that I did earlier. I'm just going to go in the room in a second and do some other stuff on the computer and listen to it. So I will be doing that. I'm just watching a Simply Nessa video right now to wind down into Whole Foods Got Dinner. And yeah, podcasts, I didn't realize that I could edit on Final Cut Pro. Done, like I'm done because I've been editing on GarageBand and it's too much for me. Like I don't need, I don't do editing to my vocals. You know, I, like, I don't do effects on my vocals. So all I need to do is cut and you know add buff, b bumpers and stuff like that. And it's really complicated in GarageBand, honestly. Maybe just because I'm used to Final Cut, but I guess I didn't realize that you could export as MP3 on Final Cut, but you can. So I edited this episode in Final Cut. It sounds better than all the other ones I did. I'm about to re-edit every single episode in Final Cut now because I just, I need to and call it a day. I'm not gonna re redo those all tonight, but that's pretty much my night. Pound or hash sign. If you are the host, press star now. Otherwise, please enter your pin followed by the pound or hash. There is one other participant in the conference. Please announce yourself. Hello. Hi guys, I just had my last call of the week. It's Saturday at 10.30 a.m. and I'm done, but I'm not done working. You guys know I have a lot of stuff to do, but for the most part I'm done. So um, now I'm about to eat breakfast. My hair has been looking crazy. I'm going to get a blowout at one. I didn't even talk to you guys about how I hit one million views. I almost said subscribers. You guys would know they hit one million subs. I hit one million views on YouTube and so I'm to take two seconds to just thank you guys for watching my videos. I know that it's not 100 or 1 million subscribers, but I am so excited about 1 million views. I could care less about what my subscriber count right now is because that is 1 million times that I've touched somebody in the world. That sounded weird. 1 million times that I have had an impact in some way, even if it's just like something stupid or whatever. I don't know. It's a really cool thing to me and I've been really looking forward to seeing that and it happened the other day. so. Norris called me to congratulate me and yeah, it was just really fun. So I'm gonna get a blowout and then Norris is gonna pick me up from the blowout. We're gonna go to Ikea because my bedroom is a mess. You guys could probably see like laundry behind me and stuff. It's not even laundry. It's like we don't have room for this clothes. So I'm gonna buy another little dresser just for me because right now Norris and I are sharing a dresser. You guys, it's a disaster if you were to see it around here. So anyway, we're gonna get a dresser, a little one go to Ikea, probably go to lunch or something just to sort of treat myself. And the sun's finally out, so I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. So anyway, I had a call. We have like done lots of random things together um, in this world. I've talked about her before, she's awesome. And I'm obviously not gonna tell you what the project is that we talked about, cause it's not, it's new, but we're t we did some, um, why can't I think? <sighs> I'm gonna do a website for her. So she's really great and I'm excited. Another successful call and let me go see if breakfast is ready. Going to get my hair done now. Um, I know this is a business vlog, so you guys are probably like, why is she telling me about this? But it is sort of related to my business, as crazy as it sounds being on camera. I think I'm gonna film a bunch tomorrow. So yeah, I need to, this, my hair is like disgusting under here. It's like greasy, like the, my hair is greasy, but my scalp is like dry and flaking. It is like the worst scenario to be in when it comes to hair and it's still freezing. Oh, 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 check this out. It is a whopping, a whopping three degrees. Norris is being a gent and dropping me off at the blow dry bar. And then we're gonna go to Ikea. Coffee time! Hair done! Coffee time! This has like a stain on it. 
stain on it. That's why it's discounted, but it's so fun. I'm trying to find a standing desk, and this one is really, I, yeah, this is weird. It's like, I didn't know it was metal. Mm. This one is too hefty, you said. Yeah, it is. It's like, it's where would we put it? That's the thing. It doesn't match anything. Any. It does, I mean, it would go okay in our living room if we wanted, because it's it's you know. It is Sunday, which I know is usually a pretty chill day for most people, but for me, it's actually one of my busiest days as of lately because there is construction every day uh in detroit yeah except for sunday usually um usually they don't do construction on sunday so that means that i get some of my best quality audio and video out of sundays so uh yeah i usually work on sundays it's like 10 30 right now yeah 10 32 so i kind of had a chill chill -er morning than usual i just sat and drank coffee with norris on the couch and you know just kind of chatted caught up for the week but now i'm getting ready to do some work on podcast stuff so i have three more coffee break episodes to record which are just like short episodes so i think i'm gonna try to knock those out today and then i also have just some work to do on my interview that i did the other day there's a couple spots where like my audio got a little weird uh like the connection uh got weird or something so I'm going to sort of dub those spots and then after that I'm going to do my makeup so I can film a couple of videos I'm getting ready to sort of relaunch my YouTube channel in a way so I'm not going to post these immediately but I'm just trying to get a bank of content of the type of content that I'm looking to sort of steer my channel in that direction of I don't think that any of that was proper English. So the Golden Globes are tonight which I always love to watch award shows especially being a former film student or a film graduate I love it and this year is going to be really important because of all the you know sexual harassment stuff and all that uh so i'm excited to watch so that starts at eight so i want to get all my stuff done by 8 p.m i want to have at least two videos filmed one podcast dubbed and three mini episodes recorded help i know this is an awful angle but um i got a new lamp the other day yesterday at ikea by the way but uh this is something that's not really talked about i noticed uh, business is always looked at as so glamorous and fun and i just like lay on the beach and type up social media posts but there is a lot of really not so glamorous things involved in my job as well so i woke up this morning to an email from somebody who they're in my free course and they're saying um please take me off the social media course i don't want to participate th in this anymore um so i need to send them screenshots individual screenshots of how to do that again it's not a huge deal at all but it's just one of those things that's going to take up time and that people don't talk about and then i also just got a dm on instagram i didn't even read it yet but she's asking a question like for advice uh so these are just the things that nobody talks about i think like i'm definitely a customer service person as well my courses and stuff they aren't at the point yet where i feel like i'm ready to hire somebody but long term that would definitely be the goal is to have like a virtual assistant or just like a i don't even know what that title would be called like a customer service person who kind of helps monitor my inboxes and give like the little simple advice and kind of canned responses for things because it takes up a lot of time like i said now it's 10:45, and all i've been doing is replying to customer service stuff and haven't gotten started on the things i need to do so just keeping it real with you We're setting up to film now. It is 
2.30. I got one Coffee Break episode recorded. I got the dubbing of the interview podcast done. And what else did I do? I don't know. But getting ready to film takes a long time. I, I think I've said this to you guys before. This is why I really suggest that you guys batch record because doing this five can you imagine doing this like five days a week or something That'd be so frustrating. i would like lose my mind so even just putting on this heavy of makeup i i did like a little um quick like showed you guys really quickly how i did my makeup i don't wear my makeup this heavy on the day today and my pores feel like they're gross you know it's a lot of work and luckily i have a boyfriend who helps me set up with like lighting and stuff but um doing this alone i don't even know how to do it like with Striking. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Can't wait till the summertime and I can barbecue. Barbecue, barbecue, sitting on the grill, corn on the cob. Yes. Oh my God, through the apartment. <laughs> so, <laughs> Norris is making dinner. Like a nice man. I'm about to get on video. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we just finished up filming and stuff. It's like four. <laughs> What's it for? It's like five. It's five now. I'm about to end my work day, if you will, because I'm starting to get a little bit stir crazy. And it's I have five hours left in my weekend, I guess. So we're going to just relax. The globes are on at eight. So we're going to figure out how to watch those, get all set up for that, are they eat all dinner. CBS? NBC or something, but they're streaming free on Hulu and a bunch of other things. Oh, cool. Sorry. I looked it up. We may have to use a computer though, I don't know, but so we'll figure that stuff out. So yeah, um, I might do a couple other like little tiny things on my computer while I'm watching them, but for the most part, I'm just going to try to relax tonight. So let me know, you guys, if you enjoyed this kind of video. I know it's different than the other like vlogs that I posted before. Um, it was kind of a busy week for me. It's still, I don't know, I think it's interesting, I guess. And uh, I'm wearing all black in solidarity of hashtag times up. Check that out. If you're watching the Golden Globes, that was totally unrelated. But like I was saying, let me know if you like the style of video and I'll keep doing them every once in a while. Uh, I'm trying to get more focused on this channel in the new year and share things that I think you guys is really going to give you guys value and also some entertainment um, like this. Hold on iconic. Oh, it closed. It says for those about to brock. We salute you. Okay, I'll see wow. you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, and comment down below and let me know what you guys are working on. I'll see you soon. Bye.